Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and today I'm starting off a vlog for you guys. So today is December 1st, um, it's snowing a lot outside and I'm just having a good day. Like yesterday was pretty shit if I'm being honest, but today I hope it's going to be a good day and I'm feeling more optimistic about it. Um, and I just love the snow. But right now I'm watching Katie Weismer's vlogs and her videos. Um, I'm watching uh, the two on her vlog channel right now. So I'll link that down below if you ever want to check that out. Um, I really like watching her vlogs. But today I have two big projects due this week. But yeah, two big projects due this week and then I have exams next week. So it's, good. it's a busy time of year for school and I'm getting like a lot of marks back right now because I've handed in a bunch of big assignments and big tests. So it's a little high stress, um, but I'm trying to be chill about it. Um, but there's also just a lot of stuff I've been buying with Black Friday and stuff and Christmas. So I thought I could also show you guys some hauls and we'll have a fun vlog, update you on reading, all of that stuff. So the book that I actually recently read was Shine Your Icy Crown by Amanda Lovelace. I love her poetry so much and this is the second book in another one of her series. The first book is Gl The Glass Slipper 1 is the first book. Um, but this one was so good. I like this better than The Glass Slipper 1 and I just love like the illustrations. I love the story. There's so much stuff I love about Amanda Lovelace's poetry. Same with Cyrus Parker. Um, there's a few other poets I feel the same about and I just I think it's amazing because as soon as I read their book I just know like I usually know before I pick it up that I'm just gonna like really really enjoy it and that's usually what happens so um yeah Shine Your Icy Crown was really really good I'm not sure what I'm writing it yet I still need to write my review for like NetGalley and stuff and put that on Goodreads um because yeah my NetGalley ratio is like 44% um let me know what yours is down below if you guys uh review books on NetGalley um and get eARCs on there but yeah, my reviews, that my thing's at like 44%. It's not great. But uh, Shine Your Icy Crown doesn't come out till next year. I think February, I believe. So I'm so glad I saw it on that galley and was like, oh, I can order. I can I can read it now. So I, I was really excited about that. And it was pretty good. So I'm glad that my first like 2021 20, most anticipated read was like a good one. So yeah, I'm excited. But anyways, um, I'm probably going to do some schoolwork today. I'm going to get lunch soon. And yeah. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. So for my little update today so far, um, yesterday I ended up reading, starting and finishing Heartstopper Volume 1. I really enjoyed it. It was a reread for me and I've just been meaning to read this series again for the longest time because I still haven't read Volume 3 but I've read 1 and 2. So I'm going to be reading Volume 2 super soon and yeah, I gave this 5 stars the first time around. I think I gave it 4.5 but honestly, so so good. A great graphic novel just about... Um, two boys falling for each other and it's really adorable and I would just highly recommend it. I think it's great. A lot of people, like this is a popular book so a lot of people have already read this but if you haven't picked it up yet and you're interested in it, this is a little push for you to do that if you feel like it because it's so good and like the happiness that I feel when I read this book is can't be measured. So <laughs> a little dramatic but I was just so happy reading this so yeah. Like the, this is one of the books that remind me of like why I read so much in the first place and like why I love stories so much. But yeah, this one, super good. I would highly recommend checking it out. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So right now I have my coffee going um, that I'm gonna start making. And I just want to give you guys an update that last night, well today at like midnight, I ended up reading and finishing Heartstopper Volume 2. And I really, really enjoyed this one. I still think I liked Volume 1 just more in general but it was really good and I'm really glad I read it. These are always again such like a joy to read and my camera's not focusing that's cool. Um, but yeah so I'm gonna be reading the third one maybe today so I'm excited about that but today's a busy day I have a big well a paper due that's really important like a research proposal. Then I have an event today that I'm co-hosting like for my school so we're doing that event today so I'm really like I'm 
excited, but I'm a little bit nervous about it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do the rest of my morning things now, and maybe watch some other people like Vlogmas and stuff, because so many people are doing it, and I, I love this time of year with everybody doing Vlogmas. It's great. So. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Oh, I really don't want to take it apart, but whatever. Okay. So today is Friday, so happy Friday. It is almost one o'clock. I've just been, like I did my usual stuff this morning, like my journaling, my uh, <laughs> stuff on Notion that I do. And then what else did I do? I had, <laughs> I did my Oracle reading this morning. I did a few other things and I've just been cleaning and then I actually put on makeup today, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, um, I'm all ready for the day and I've already got a few things done which I'm happy about so yeah I love this shirt it's basically a nice man kill shirt it's inspired by the movie Silent Night Deadly Night which I would recommend watching if you're looking for like a um horror Christmas movie I would recommend it it's like an older film but it's like it's it's funny and it's it's good like it's pretty good so this shirt is like kind of based off that and so is the song which is called Merry Axmas just look how cute it is see I don't know, I love it. Anyways, I didn't get around to reading Heartstopper Volume 3 yesterday, but I am probably going to today or tomorrow. Um, yeah, we're doing pretty good this week. I submitted that assignment that I had yesterday and I have another assignment due tomorrow that's really important. So I have to work on that today. Um, but yeah, the one yesterday, I was so happy that I finished it. It was like an eight, like it's not too long. It was eight pages of a research proposal and um, yeah, I'm just glad I got that submitted and done. I think I'm going to go the to the to downtown and like the town I'm in because um, I'm able to go out in like a mask and like I live in kind of a smaller town, so our numbers aren't really bad and we're not in like the red zone for like COVID cases right now. But I'm still obviously being careful when I go out. But I am going out to just pick up like a few little um, things. Like I need more coffee creamer and I. Want to pick up a few more Christmas gifts for people. Um, but yeah, for Christmas I'm doing good so far. How are you guys doing with your shopping? I have already spent more than I would have wanted to. Or more than I would have liked to. But then it... I just want people to have a good Christmas, you know? So like... Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. But... 
most of my Christmas shopping is pretty well done and I've been tracking and budgeting and all of that on Notion, but I want to pick up a few more things. Uh, and the holidays are obviously just going to look different this year, so yeah. But I hope either way that you guys have a good holiday if you celebrate, and if not, just a good time of year. Um, I know this time of year uh, is just kind of a lot for a lot of people and even those who have more seasonal depression and things like that it's worse around winter if you live in a place that it like if, if where you live has winter right now but yeah i just hope you guys are all doing good and i'll update you soon hey guys happy saturday so today um it's about three o'clock or 2 30 now uh, i still look like i just woke up but like that's okay um i ended up completing my assignment that i've been working on so that's like a big paper out of the way <laughs> Uh, so I feel really good about that. That's submitted. I'm still like kind of feeling uneasy about it and I feel like I'm gonna feel uneasy until like I kind of get my mark back or I get a yeah until I get my mark back I'll probably feel uneasy but I feel like it was okay so we'll go with that. I feel like I did well on the assignment. It um, We had to talk about the six principles of science uh, and then relate them back to an article that we were looking at and that we had to pick and get approved so I did that. Um, and I did one of my lectures this week for one of my criminology courses. So I also did that lecture today, which I was really surprised that I did all that. And then the last thing that I have to do for this week is mythology related. And it's honestly, the teacher posted like extra stuff that we could do. So I, I'm definitely gonna look at the stuff I'm interested in and watch those videos and make notes for just for fun because I really love that course. But other than that, that's about it. So I think in the semester I only have like another one more assignment and then I have three exams um, so yeah that will be interesting a little extra update I don't know I haven't read anything which is okay but I've been watching a lot of daily vlogs uh, in the past the past week so I'm watching Katie Weismark who I mentioned at the beginning of this video I fucking love her and her channel so I watch her vlogs all the time um, I also have been watching there's a few people that I've been watching their vlogs like almost every day or every day they upload, I will watch them. So Jay from the Octopus Bookworm is another person that I'll watch. There's a few more and I'll put them on the screen and I'll link them down below so that you guys can check them out. Okay, let's see from Literature Reads, she's posted every day. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna do maybe weekly vlogs for this month. I'm not really sure exactly yet, but that's what it looks like so far. So I hope you guys like the vlogs. But yeah, uh, last night we were playing Jack, Jackbox games and I've played it once before like I don't remember which game I played I think it was like Fibbage but I didn't really like it I was just kind of like nah. like I think you have to be playing with people you're closer with maybe I'm not sure but yesterday we played this like murder mystery one and it was so good like <laughs> I was so invested and I actually won and all the questions were like perfect it was like how old were Romeo and Juliet and everyone in the room was just like how how old and I was just like 13 I know this <laughs> so it was it was pretty easy for me and I was really happy about it and I also we had a little gift exchange with my floor and like they're so sweet and they always like do cute little things so I, I got this little guy look at the little moose and he's chocolate scented which is very strange <laughs> but his head smells like hot chocolate and yeah <laughs> he's so cute look at him with his little his little moose antlers and his little feet I really like him so he's gonna be chilling on my my shelf here um, so yeah and then behind here I have my completed diamond painting I don't think I showed you guys that but completed that finally but yeah got this little dude here oh here and then my American Horror Story mug <laughs> so I would show like more of me in like a normal position right now but like my sweater has like school related stuff on it so we're just gonna try not to get that in frame for a second but my 
net galley ratio went up by six percent oh yeah so yeah that's all i had to say i just did the feedback for shine your icy crown so that's good and i also started and finished Heart Stopper Volume 3, which was really, really good. It did have some trigger warnings for self-harm and eating disorders and homophobic comments. So keep that in mind before picking it up. But it was really, really good. And like I think each volume, especially reading them back to back, just get just so like nicely builds on the story. And I'm really excited for the fourth one to come out. This is what the cover looks like. I love the cover. I'm so excited for it. Okay, that's all. So today is Sunday, which finally we're concluding the week. I got all my assignments done. That's all good to go. I've been doing lots of like mythology related things this morning for my class and just want to see chillin'. So today's gonna be more of a chill day and I'm gonna of course edit this vlog. Um, I've already been editing parts of it so most of it's done but just editing like the last few days. So the last two days. So yeah thank you guys so so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The only three things I ended up completing were Heartstoppers volumes one through three. Which I'm not mad about. I'm actually very happy about that because my reading experience while I'm reading them was just immeasurable. So happy with that. Um, I have a lot of Christmas presents wrapped in like the corner of my room. So yeah, um, that's all. But <laughs> comment a bird emoji or a bird or just the word bird if you made it this far in the video. Uh, shout out to you guys. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if you like this vlog, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Um, but yeah, I'll be uh, hopefully doing another one of these next week, but let me know if you'd also like to see another one. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll have a bunch of links down below and I'll see you super soon. Bye.